In this video we will demonstrate uh, a very common case, case and request uh, how to send and receive uh, structural data for example can signal or message of custom type when it is not a signal as a trigger of SysML but uh, actually data matter with the uh, structure based on the block for example so here we see the data which has uh, some properties like a real string integer and also structural properties the body which has again some properties as a real and uh, that could continue as deep as we want with the values that could also have the values uh, so this this type of data we want to send and simulate how we do it through the interface so here we have uh, interface as you can see here interface block which has flow property flow property of the type data it has out and it has conjugated here in see direction is reversed and now also we did one uh, thing here we inherited from that interface in order to have this flow property in the blocks that when we are executing uh, uh, the system that we would be able to manipulate with that flow property and the data in context of a and b so what we are going to do we are going to send uh, load the data to that property and that automatically will assign to this type of the property the data and then we'll transition through that interface to another site and here we will read so what would be the send uh, so send is as you see ALH uh, uh, action language helper so this treat, uh, treat it uh, as a template you can take it use it it's pretty much duplicates what you will see in the data. So we are creating object and uh, you can find about ALH here in the documentation. ALH, just search for ALH API, ALH APIs, and you will find multiple uh, like create object, uh, delete object, uh, create object, add value and read value. So what we are doing here we are creating object of the type data we are creating object of the type body which is type of the data uh, property so let me move it here to show in that uh, dialog here um, okay this will be here so here we have you see create object of the type data then create object of the type body then assign properties of the data so this will be like um, assign uh, d value with the a value you see d value of a value you can use that kind of syntax object name dot set object name dot set another property another property and then assign um, body object uh, property body value you see body value property assigned to the a a4 this one see here and then uh, the last step will be to assign uh, uh, that body uh, property to the a object uh, which is the data uh, and that will be that b object right so b object assigned and then the last one is to assign the flow one which is that flow one to the a the, the object a and that once that is assigned what happens it it sends that through the interface so because we inherited we see the same property which is implementation of that interface in the context of that block that interface supports that and that will send through the uh, through the um, connector now here what we have uh, uh, in this context uh, as you can see let me open here we have the same uh, but uh, in that uh, b block we are reading and we are starting reading when we get the flow property so we are using uh, uh, accept change structural feature event action where we see here that we are waiting for this flow property you see flow property which is inherited right so flow property and also change expression we just put the flow property name flow one right 
and that's it. Uh, so this will trigger once the data is coming and that will result into the getting, uh, getting to that uh, evaluate uh, B value of one, so from bulk B value of one, assign object name flow one, which is the object which comes, right? Uh, uh, get value. You remember that to the flow, we assign the object A, then flow two, flow B two, B three, and then uh, we get the body, and the body we receive uh, uh, to the intermediate variable, and then from that intermediate variable, we get the body value, and I'll assign this to the four. And again, this will go to the cycle. Once new data will be available, it will execute again. Okay, so now here in internal block diagram, we just connect those two together like that here. And then uh, one activity of A, activity of B is executing. And uh, this one is sending data. This one is reading data. So now if we will run this, let's run. Here we see that uh, no issues, right? And here we can track uh, what we are sending and what we are getting. So if we'll execute, you see that it sends the data and here we get the data. So you see like this data got received. So let's close this dialog. Let's move that one to the left, to the right. And here we see it sends the data and receives the data. So we see that this is B, this is A, will change this property so it receives this property you see but also we can track it here right uh, you see what's happening what is that object which we get through and then uh, also we can change any other property like steve you see steve received and we see this also in the flow property, also in the port, we see what's happening here. And you see that the, the data is actually, each time it's a new object, you see that the object ID changes. So that's the pattern, how you could uh, send and receive data, and that allows you to model the network with the messages, and you can read in between, you know, do the, some um, uh, analysis based on that uh, manipulation. And uh, that's harder than using signal, but that's uh, more realistic uh, than using signal, more advanced uh, because it sends the data and structure data as an object. Thank you.